Yo, what's up everybody? We're out here, got a great view of, uh, you know, the other side. Today we're gonna be going on a big hunt for some boba in the city. I'm super excited. So we're gonna be going to some spots that I know, some spots that I've been before, but we're also gonna have to try out some new spots. I've been doing a lot of research online, looking at other people's videos, trying to see what the best spots are. So the people that know me, could consider me a pretty bev dependent guy. I kind of always need a bev. I, I don't really care if it's a soft drink, if it's a tea, if it's a smoothie, if it's a shake, whatever. And so like about a year, uh, maybe maybe a year or two ago, I discovered bubble tea. And the first time I had instantly in love, let's be real, that shit just slaps. So today everyone, we are going to be looking for the best bubble tea in all of New York City. So let's go. So I've been to Koreatown a couple of times in my previous vlogs. You guys have probably seen them. If you haven't, I'll leave some links in there somewhere so you guys can go check those out. So I'm gonna try some of the most notable places, some of the ones that I personally like. First stop is gonna be Gray Street, my personal favorite at the moment. Subject to change, we're gonna be trying a lot of stuff out here. Looks absolutely tantalizing. Top is cold and the bottom is very, very warm. Super excited for this. I didn't really mean for the straw to sound like a gunshot, but it's okay. Middle of the lid insertion. I can already smell how good this is. Um, the reason why I like this tea so much is because they've actually given this tea some lavender. Let me tell you, top tier, top tier. This is my favorite tea so far that I've had. Oh, it's been way too long. It's been way too long. That is A1, A1. Like the sauce. Tastes the boba really well. There's a super good blend of the tea and the milk and the lavender. I think that's really what makes this such a good tea is that not only does it cover every base well, but it's it's so evenly distributed. When I drink other teas, especially with like maybe a brown sugar milk tea, sometimes you might get a little bit too much of that sugar, you know? This is super balanced. It's the perfect temperature. It's just a little bit chill. It's the perfect temperature so far, even though it's the first one, giving this an A. 93 plus in my book. Maybe we'll start to categorize them more as we keep going. Cooked it. We got the Earl Grey milk tea with three J's. So real quick, I'm gonna tell you guys what they have inside. It's not a regular boba. There's actually a couple other fillings inside. There is pudding, which is still pretty jelly-ish, you know what I mean? And there's also the regular standard boba at the bottom. And if you can catch that in there, there's a little bit of that orangey stuff m moving around. Like it's a little fish in a fish tank. We're just gonna give it a shot. It gave us that nice straw. Focus, not on me. Ah, uh, you get the gist of it. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. That's crazy. The first flavor that you get hit with is of course the Earl Grey milk tea, which is delicious. Rather than just getting boba at the bottom, you can taste the different jellies in there, the pudding, and of course the boba itself. Duh. That is the jelly coming through. Here's a little, or no, maybe that's the pudding. I don't know which is which, you know, I'm kind of an idiot. The bottom is where all the boba resides and the middle to the top, as you can see, there's a whole lot of filling in there. Every sip you take is a little bit different because you don't know what amount of each you'll get. Hey. Look who it is. Oh, I'm on the vlog. You're on the vlog, sir. Um, add me on IG at uh, PPLV1, subscribe to my boy. If you guys have any other boba recommendations, totally a potential for a second episode. Also, if you're interested, I stream three times a week currently. I'll put the schedule up and um, I'll link it in the description. Also, if you haven't already, I know you wanna click the like button low key, just, you know, you can just do it, it's fine. You know, all of that stuff really supports the uh, the channel. I'm trying to get to 100 subs by the end of the month. Don't know if that's really gonna happen, but I mean, I'm trying, you know. In terms of the boba category, this is probably it, Chief. I'm not gonna lie, so far on our tour, the boba here is probably a little bit better. Potentially, I would drink this just as much. Overall, lavender's my thing, but I've gotta say, uh, this is probably even with Gray Street, I'm not gonna lie. This is really, really good. If it's like your first boba tea ever, go to Gong Cha and get like a relatively standard one, you know what I mean? Or this, I mean, if you wanna get a little fancy. Oh, 
All right, guys, we've got the Surreal Creamery Delicious Mango Boba Fruit Tea. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that is smacking right there. They give you a lot of boba in this one. If you're a big boba fan, this is definitely one to consider. The tea itself, excellent flavor. You get a lot more of that mango or whatever fruit you chose. You get that fruit flavor more at the beginning, and then you get that tea flavor more as the aftertaste. I'm not thinking in terms of like specific flavor, but just the experience, you know? Because, you know, I'm, I've gotten a couple different ones, still gonna get different varieties. I would maybe prefer a little bit more of that mango flavor a little bit later in the sip, you know? Uh, I don't think that you need the tea flavor right away necessarily because, you know, it's a little bit more bitter. The boba themselves are nice and chewy, but, you know, these kind of chew and swallow a bit easier. They're really, really good. If you are interested in a tea that doesn't feel as heavy, or doesn't feel quite as sugary, you get a lot more fruitiness rather than that, you know, white granular sugar sweetness that you might get in a lot of other teas. In my book, this is going to get a B and 85.3. I think that seems pretty reasonable for it. By the way, if you made it this far in the video, Shout out to you. Make sure to hit that, uh, you know, like, sub, etc. Just for, th for that algorithm, you know? All right, so uh, next location. Let's go. Patsy, I don't know how to pronounce that, but uh, just picked up their rows, which is kind of cool. It's one of the uh, spots near Union Square, near NYU, the new school, this whole area. But yeah, we're gonna head over to Union Square and we're just gonna dig in. This one looks almost frothy or something. We're out here at Union Square, sipping some patty, as they would say. This tea is pretty creamy, I'm not gonna lie. It brought a lot more to the table than I really expected. Um, ignore these cars behind me and shit. You know, I think this one's really good, but it could use maybe a little bit more flavor. It's pretty milky, you know? It's not bad at all. I think it's really good, but I would put this in the B category. Um, I don't think it quite hits what Gray Street and Gong Cha were able to do the past couple days. It's milky. Uh, the rose flavor is very, very low key. I was a little worried at first about it possibly being too sweet when they said regular or less sugar and I went for regular. It's kind of weird just standing in the middle of this big ass park and just talking about a tea. But I'm gonna have to get used to it if I'm trying to do this shit, right? So, that bus just talk for me? If I could make any recommendation for uh, this tea, I would say to add some more rose to it. Add a little bit more of that rose flavoring. It doesn't really need that much more sugar. I, I like that it's not too sweet. I mean, another one has been bodied out here, so... I mean, it's not bad, clearly. This is, uh, this is... This is gonna end up being one of my longer videos. I hope you guys kinda like this format. thing looks ridiculously good. In here we've got milk, boba, um, and then there's also some cream, and there's also jelly. So this has like everything in it. This is a brown sugar milk tea from Tiger Sugar. All right, yo, Tiger Sugar, let's give it a shot. Whoa, this is crazy. I said the fillings in Gong Cha's tea were good. This has better fillings. At first I was a little worried and a little skeptical about all of the ingredients that they have in this. I mean, as you can see, it's kind of loaded to the brim full of stuff. There's jelly. This is the herbal jelly. I figured it out, guys. I promise. This is a total banger, I'm not gonna lie. First of all, you get that milk and the cream as a really, really nice base to the entire thing. The most interesting thing about this tea is that the herbal jelly actually has a little bit more bite to it and the boba has a little bit more chew to it than the other teas that I've had. Um, I think in terms of texture, this one is the best. I'm happy to say that there is no overdone amount of sugar in this. It is actually a super chill, not too sweet, not too crazy of a drink, even though it looks pretty insane, you know? Yeah, I think this is the best one. I'm not gonna lie. This has gotta be the best one. This seriously has everything that you need. 
This gets the A+, plus. this gets the S tier. This is gonna be the choice. I have no complaints about this one. You really taste the brown sugar flavor in there. And combined with the rest of the textural elements, like, you gotta, you gotta come to this shit. Oh my god, this is so good. I'm, I kinda wanna get another one and bring it home. Also, the uh, presentation of this is just great. The, uh, the lid looks awesome. The black and yellow kind of goes with that tiger theme that they're going for. You know, I don't know if drinking this, I'm quite as brave as a tiger, you know? So Tiger Sugar was the A plus of this trip. This is gonna get like a 97.4, you know? Pro it's probably around there. That nice chill brown sugar, cream, milk at the bottom. It's just, it's just super nice. I think I found the, uh, the mother load here. For guess how much? Three dollars. Three dollars for this mound of dumplings. Pork and chive dumplings for three bucks. Cheers everyone, let's just try this out. Mmm. Oh man. Texture is almost like they're boiled and fried. And the pork and chive, man, oh my god. And not to mention I got these in about 30 seconds of ordering. I mean, I ordered and I gave them $3 and they gave this to me within 30 seconds and I left. What? You know, they're nice and hearty as they should be. They're like, they're hella thick. Let me just bring it over here. I'll give you guys that inspect element view. Steaming right for you guys. Oh my God. And 10 for three bucks. I mean, that's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Mmm. Mmm. If I have people coming over, I might order in bulk, man. I might get those Amazon drones to come, you know, drop them off at the front door. So wrapping up the vlog, we hit a bunch of amazing boba tea places. On top of it, we got to hit up some nice dumplings, and you can never really complain about dumplings, especially if they're three bucks. All in all, I had a great time filming this. I hope you guys liked this longer video. Thank you guys so much for watching the vlog this week. Hopefully, I'll try to get them out weekly as soon as possible. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.